God bless you, saints. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is day five of our devotional. My name is Cherie Woods, coming to you from Gospel Spreading Church of Hampton, Virginia, under the capable leadership of Senior Pastor James S. Woods, Sr., and Assistant Pastor Tommy Smith. My devotion is coming from Mark 10, 43 to 45, in the New King James. It reads as follows. Yet it shall not be so among you, but whoever desires to become great among you shall be your servant, and whoever of you desires to be first shall be slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. We serve God by loving him with all our heart, studying his word, spending time in prayer with him, spending time in worship, and by offering loving service to others. As we immerse in his presence, we feel the overwhelming joy God provides to those who are obedient to him. Jesus commands us to love our neighbor. Love is a verb, which means that some type of action, investment, or service is required on our part. People know you genuinely care when you take time to meet their mental, spiritual, or physical needs. The devil's objective is to stand in the way and make us think that we just don't have time to serve others. As the story goes, my life is so busy. I got kids, I got work, I got ministry, I got so much things that take up all my time. I'm always on the go. How can I possibly do more than I'm already doing? This may be the case for some, but not most. We must take our calendars and schedules to God and ask him to help us wisely manage our time. If there is a true desire to serve, God will show us where things can be added and what to remove from our lives. Just because something is a good thing doesn't mean it's a God thing for your life. I remember a time recently when I had made plans well in advance to help a person do something, which was a really good thing. Now, it wasn't like an ungodly thing when weighed with what I was called to do for God, but it was still just a good thing compared. And that thing was to participate in the baptism. That was more important because it was more just than just good. It was actually a God thing. Our heart's desire as believers of Christ should be, Lord, use me to serve people. Even when we've done all to serve, we should not think more highly of ourselves than we ought to think, nor should we expect others to, but understand that this is only our reasonable service as believers, as stated in Luke 17, 10. In conclusion, now is the time. Now is the time for us to move outside of our comfort zones, laying aside the excuses and go after the harvest. When God presents an opportunity, he will also provide strength, wisdom, and resources for you to love people through service to them. May God richly bless you.